This is uh, the half an inch uh, Aldi Baker ball. Before I'm going to put it in the space of the toilet base, I'm going to paint it with the uh, first primary and then I'm going to put a, a white color on it, uh, either a semi gloss or a satin. It's nice because uh, when you actually put color on it, you seal this board from water penetrate to uh, this Aldi Baker board. You don't really want water to penetrate to it. You want all the water to be repealing that you will see if there is any leak, you will see, see it. In addition to it, uh, water, they stay in cement board all the time, uh, can be creating a modern mildew. So I'm almost done painting it with a primary one side. So remember, I'm going through all the corners, even to the side, even the side of the, of the board, just put primary, and then I'm going to put the paint. So this is the base, the half an inch bacon bolt after I just put primer on it. And if you look here, you can see that I also paint here this area and this area. This is very important because if water will penetrate here to the bacon bolt, even if it's painted here from the side for a long time, uh, the bacon bolt might be in, uh, disintegrated. So and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually use the exterior glass, that's a paint, that's not a primer. So I'm using the bare exterior semi-glass. Stir it a little bit. Quite a liberal amount of paint has to be applied to the surface. So, I finish one coat here, and usually I do two coats of paint, I use two coats of primary. Put a little bit more here. And I'm going to actually paint the side of it here and here. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. I'm using this kind of uh, tool, okay, it's kind of a brush, and you can actually buy it on Home Depot. Any place, and then it's very easy to go to this area and paint, and also the siding, the side here of this uh, the corner of this uh, board. It's very effective too. It's difficult to do it with uh, this kind of brush. So this is the board after I painted in two places. And let me try to treat, you know, just to make it sweet faster. I'm using a fan, air fan. Let's do this. So that is the way this piece of board, this Aldi Baker board, look like before I'm going to put it um, on the toilet. But you know, everything is sealed here, especially in the corner here. And the circle, so it's really look nice. So we're back to the place where the toilet is, and let's put the board to see how it fit now. Now it looks like this is the board, and the one I'm going to put here. Okay. And remember, so it looks very nice, and I can go now and try to fit this inside. And you can see it's done perfectly inside. So for me it's excellent, so, so that's the way it looks like. So what I want to show you now, I want to actually use this level to show you how level this Aldi Baker board with the tile floor. That's very important, it's going to be the same level. Otherwise we're going to have a problem, correct? So let me put it here. Okay, nothing in. Okay, the way I put it is the same. You can see it's the same thing. The reason it's exactly level is because we have a tile which is a quarter of an inch and uh, we have Aldi Baker below that it's half an inch. So if you're going to make the calculation you're going to see that it's exactly three quarters of an inch. So that's why it must be level. 
So we're lucky, and by 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 the way, but uh, we're not really lucky. We actually calculated properly. So what's left now is to really attach this board to this board with Ali Baker screws, correct? But before I'm going to do it, I want to mark where I can actually screw it. Because remember, I have here one, two, three, four, a couple of screws here. I don't want to screw in the same place. I want to actually go a little bit far from them. So I can avoid collision or accident here. So I know that one is going to be here. It's okay with me. Another one going to be here. I just make a, a mark here. Another one going to be here. So I'm using one and five eight. Ali Baker board, you can see Ali Baker screw. I have to use one five eight because I have to go at least a quarter of an inch inside. So I have to use one five eight and not one and a quarter. And before I'm going to actually screw, I actually put one screw here. I'm going to put that one to make it sure it's in the center. Okay, it's in the center. So I'm going to apply. Once you really start to screw from the center. So I put through and I will continue putting screw all over. So I already attach the board with the I'll be a screw. Screw. So now what I have to do, I'm going to clean it with paper. I have to repaint the other screws here, see? Just to seal them also. I'm using quite a bit of paint here. So before I'm going to attach the flange, I want to show you something. This flange must be level. It's difficult to see, but I can move it. And you can see the bubble is in the center. So in other words, if the flange is not level, the toilet won't be level. And that's a, we get a whole kind of issue with the toilet. So now what I want to do, I want to put silicone here on the gap between the tile and the board. Okay? So to seal it, but before I'm going to seal it, I vacuum. I will vacuum here around the area. So it's very important to clean everything here. If not if we left, let me do it. So I finish uh, to vacuum everything, everything to clean. But before I'm going to continue, I just want to talk about uh, why I use the Audi Baker board and uh, not uh, self-leveling cement. So I will use self-leveling cement. Uh, it might be crack when I'm going to attach the flange to the self-leveling. So I'm starting with this corner. It's very important to seal that with a good silicone, that water won't penetrate it here. So I'm using these tools, if you can see this is kind of a rubber that you can buy from Home Depot, from Lowe's. It's excellent tool to use to force the silicone to the place and to remove an excess. I almost finished cleaning, just gonna take a paper and just remove all the excess silicone yeah, from all over the places by mistake I also put here a bit. So now everything is silicone, but I want to show you where I put also silicone. I put here in this area quite a bit of silicone. 
Where was the plywood actually? There was a plywood, three quarters of plywood, then it put the Audi Baker. There was kind of a, a void space there. So I filled it up with the silicone and I want to show you it from close. Let me show you it. So if you're going to go close to it, you will see what I'm talking about. You see here around this area? Okay, so here what you have is an area that was a little bit of white spaces that there are still void that are filled up with silicone and that's the way it looks like you can see the void there in this really in this area there's a void that I'm going to fill it up so I'm actually after three hours here just came back and it looks that everything is dry here if you look it's, it's very dry and if you look inside you can see what happened here you can see that this is the area here where they are the board, the Hardy Baker board, and here is really the pipe. Between here to here, they are probably a one inch uh, gap. And what I want to say is, I'm not going to extend the flange because if you look at the flange here. This flange from here to here is actually two and a half inch. So what's going to happen? Two and a half inch less than one inch is going to be one and a half inch inside the pipe, uh, which is okay for me because uh, the real pipe, the real flange is attached to the pipe first and then to the floor with actually one, two, three, four, five, six screws. It's really what attaching it to the floor is the screws. So before I'm going to cement it or glue it to, to the pipe, okay, to the toilet pipe, I want to see if, I want to put it in just for the last test to see if everything is good. So it's going perfectly in. It's actually one and a half inch in the pipe and one inch is not in the pipe. Remember because I put it to Audi Baker board. Okay, and now this is the most important. I have to take a level and put the level here and then make sure that it's actually level because if it's not level as I explained before your toilet will not be also level so to attach the flange this flange to the pipe I'm going to use first the clear clear and cleaner okay which is like a primary I have to put it here and I'm going to use a okay all-purpose cement so just make sure that for, this is PVC so just make sure it's for PVC you can see PVC here, PVC here it's a bit tricky and it's also smelly So what the primary does, with the clear, it just clean everything for the debris and you open the PVC to accept the cement. It's going to have a far better connection. I'm using this regular cement because I don't want to use the heavy duty cement because this flame is going to stay there not forever. Eventually, maybe in 10 years, maybe in 5 years, somebody will have to break it and remove it. If you're going to use heavy duty, it's going to be permanent and you will break the pipe inside, so remember it, just use regular, a regular all-purpose cement. I already open it. So the first thing I'm going to put is a thin coat here. And a heavy coat on this one, it should be very quick here to do it. And remember, this is it's going to be only one and a half inch inside quite a liberal amount we put it in we push it and then we flip it 90 degrees see what I'm doing? that's it, and now I push it inside and let it go like that for 30 seconds 
Now we actually have to leave it for 15 minutes to dry. So 15 minutes pass. And we back to, to see the flames, how we are doing. So I just want to show you this is after 15 minutes. If you look here, okay, let me put it like that, you can see that the flange is 100% level. That is the most important, we achieve it. One of the advantages of the metal flange is that you can actually move it. To see if I push it, I can move it. And then I can adjust it. Uh, the plastic, you cannot move. You have to put it exactly in one time. You cannot flip it 90 degrees. So that is another advantage. So not only the, flat, the metal will not break or snatch, but also you can tune it after you set the flange inside the pipe with the cement. That's a very, very, very big advantage. So to set it up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to push it here as much as I can. You see the center here. What I want to show you here, um, between here to here, if you can look here on the center, you can see a 12 inch. So the distance from the wall to the center of the pipe is 12 inch. I actually have to put here the screw. That is the screw and I'm going to touch the toilet, the toilet base to it. So what I'm doing now is very important. I must make sure that this screw is going to be kind of a 12 inch from, from the wall. This one, and this is the other one, it should be actually here 12 inch. You can see, okay, where are the screws here? See, that is the narrow passage here. And that is the narrow passage here. If you look here at the measurement, that one is 12 inch from the wall, and that one is 12 inch from the wall. From now on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually attach it with screws. Let me show you what screws I'm going to use and how I'm going to use it. Screws that I'm going to use called stacks, and it's two and a half inch. And what's nice on that, you can use it in any places. You can see here, you can use it in concrete, wood. The most, why I'm actually using that one? Because if you're using other uh, wood or other uh, screws, usually they're actually rusted and they're very difficult actually to take them out. So here, I actually put one screw and now I'm going to put the second screw. Battery is finished. So I decided to use an uh, electrical drill detaching, which is high speed, and I put the bit here, which let me close it for me. So that's it, I actually finish six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I just want to see how the level maintained. It's exactly. So that's it. The work is done and I'm going to put a toilet exactly like you you're going to put toilet, other toilet, any toilet. There is nothing um, different out here. When uh, you have a void space when you remove a toilet and um, our tiles around the toilet, you must give the flange above the floor. In addition to it, the void space has to be filled with something. I fill it with Audi Baker board. If you have something else, you can fill it with something else. You can fill it with tiles if you want. It's more difficult to do and a little bit more expensive. Uh, if you want to use self-leveling, I told you self-leveling might break it's not a robust like uh, Audi Baker board. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.